Welcome to the Mass Ave Partial Construction Project. This presentation documents the information which the City shared at our December 5th, 2023 Project Open House. The December Open House focused on the Linian Street to Waterhouse Street section of the project. We have broken up this presentation into two separate videos. This video provides details on our first specific concept design for the section of the project between Linian Street and Waterhouse Street. The accompanying video on this website provides background on the overall Mass Ave partial construction project, and we suggest viewing that video first. As explained in the project overview video, the Mass Ave partial construction project extends from Elwifebrook Parkway to Waterhouse Street. Due to higher traffic volumes and multimodal challenges through the Porter Square area, the segment between Elwifebrook Parkway and Linian Street is currently undergoing technical analysis. However, the segment between Linian Street and Waterhouse Street has fewer challenges and a draft concept for this area has been developed and is the subject of this video. South of Linian Street, there is less overall bus delay, as buses experience the most delay traveling through Porter Square. There is also less overall traffic volume and fewer conflicting turning movements from the side streets as many of them are one way. The segment of Mass Ave also has higher levels of commercial activity to consider, compared to other parts of the corridor. This graphic shows the average delay experienced by buses traveling through this section of Mass Ave today. A higher amount of delay is experienced through Porter Square, as shown in red. A lower amount of delay is experienced in the southbound direction past Linian Street, shown in green. A moderate amount of delay is experienced by northbound buses through this stretch, shown in yellow. Let's take a closer look at what is being proposed between Linian Street to Waterhouse Street. This diagram shows what Mass Ave would look like looking north towards Porter Square. Next to the curb on both sides, one-way separated bike lanes are proposed, with parking and or loading access provided on both sides of the street between the travel lane and the separated bike lane. For vehicles traveling north towards Porter Square, a general purpose travel lane and a dedicated bus lane are proposed. Heading south towards Harvard Square, one general purpose travel lane would be shared with buses. A bus lane is proposed in the northbound direction only based on the lower bus delay in this segment as explained in the previous slide. Note that at the intersections, the space shown for curbside access in purple may be repurposed for turn lanes, pedestrian crossing islands, or bus stop platforms. The draft concept is the first attempt at incorporating the initial feedback we received into a layout scheme and figuring out what works best for mobility and safety on this segment of Mass Ave. Between Linian Street and Waterhouse Street, separated bike lanes will improve the safety and comfort for cyclists. A northbound bus lane and floating bus stop islands will improve reliability and comfort for transit riders while crosswalk signal timing adjustments and new crossing locations will improve the pedestrian experience. This map shows the draft curb use plan between Linian Street and Waterhouse Street. The proposed three-lane cross-section in this segment and the removal of the median gives us the flexibility to provide curb access on both sides of the street. Existing metered parking has been retained where feasible, with some of it being repurposed for other uses such as new crosswalks, turn lanes at intersections, relocated loading zones, and new accessible parking stalls. A new blue bike station is proposed at the intersection of Garfield Street, and a bike parking corral is proposed at the intersection of Wendell Street. Between Everett Street and Waterhouse Street, new curb access is proposed along Harvard Law School, and there are two options for bus stop locations, which will be presented in more detail later in the presentation. Existing crosswalks will be improved either by adjusting signal timing at signalized locations or by providing flashing beacons in a center pedestrian crossing island where pedestrians can wait after crossing one direction of travel. Through our conversations and walks with the working group and community so far, we have identified three new locations for crosswalks along Mass Ave at Sacramento Street, Mellon Street, and mid-block between Everett Street and Waterhouse Street. These additional crosswalks will improve spacing for crossing opportunities in this segment, 
However, space for curbside access may be reduced to maintain visibility at these crosswalks. Now that we have reviewed the general design features for this segment, let's take a more detailed look at the draft concept plan between Linian and Waterhouse Streets. After viewing this presentation, please take the online survey to provide your feedback on the concept design. We are specifically looking for your input on curb use allocation, crosswalk locations, and bus stop locations. Your feedback will be used to help refine these elements as the design moves forward. Thank you in advance for participating. We will start at Linian Street and move southwards towards Waterhouse. Though the exact layout of the Exeter Park Linian Street intersection may change depending on the proposed design to the north, floating bus stop islands will be provided to reduce conflicts between bikes and buses. At Garfield Street, the existing crosswalk will be upgraded with a center crossing island and new rapid flash and beacons. The sidewalk space on the east side of the street will also be expanded to make space for a new blue bike station based on requests from the community. Moving south towards Sacramento Street, curb access is maintained on both sides. New accessible parking stalls are proposed throughout this corridor to meet the needs of all users. A new crosswalk is proposed at Sacramento Street with crossing islands and flash and beacons to minimize crossing distance and increase pedestrian visibility to drivers. An extended island at this location will also reinforce the existing left turn restriction onto Sacramento Street. The intersection of Mass Ave with Wendell Street and Shepherd Street is skewed because the side streets do not meet Mass Ave at the same location. Conflicts between turning vehicles and pedestrians will be reduced by consolidating the approach lanes on Wendell Street to a single lane and straightening out crosswalks across Mass Ave as much as possible. The existing northbound bus stop is relocated from near side, shown by a red T symbol, to the far side, shown by a green T symbol, of the Wendell Street intersection. This provides enough space for floating bus stop islands for both stops at the intersection. This creates an opportunity to provide additional bike parking at the intersection where the existing bus stop is now located. Continuing along the corridor to the south, a new crosswalk is proposed at Mellon Street with crossing islands and flashing beacons. Throughout this segment, turn lanes are provided at intersections where they are needed to improve vehicle operations and safety for all users. At the intersection of Everett Street and Chauncey Street, pedestrian islands are proposed where space allows to reduce the crossing distance for pedestrians. Connections to bike routes that cross Mass Ave are also provided at intersections as needed. Between Everett Street and Waterhouse Street, a new mid-block crosswalk is proposed with a pedestrian island and flashing beacons, and new curbside access is provided along Harvard Law School. There are two options for where the bus stops can be located in this stretch. The first option would relocate the existing bus stops to the new mid-block crosswalk, improving overall bus spacing in this area. This option also allows for a southbound bus queue jump lane to reduce bus delay ahead of the Harvard bus tunnel. In the second option, the existing bus stop locations are maintained at the Waterhouse Street intersection with floating bus stop islands. This option maintains the curbside access along the west side approaching the intersection, but does not provide an opportunity to reduce bus delay by having the bus to bypass the queue. Now that we have reviewed the draft concept for this area, let's review the next steps in the project process. Help us refine the concept design from Linian Street to Waterhouse Street by providing your feedback in the online survey. We are looking for feedback on the curb use allocation, crosswalk locations, and bus stops as detailed in this presentation. You can access the online survey on the project website and the survey will be open through February 2024. If you have any questions or would like to provide additional comments, please email massav4 at cambridgema.gov.